In order to turn this back around, what I would do is I would take my ciphertext and count it. So I have 13 characters, divide that by 5, which is the length of my keyword, and that tells me that I have two full rows and then one overflow row that only has three characters. So what I would do at that point is I would list my keyword, and this is column 1. Well, column 1, I know would be full. It would have three characters because only my last two columns would be partially full. So I take column 1, I-A-Y, list in column 1. Column 2, I know because I only have 13 characters, the last two will be blank. So column 2 only has two characters, so I take my K-R, list it down column 2. Column 3, the same thing. I would list the next characters, E and N, and then I do the last two columns, I-O-K and L-E-E, -E, and I just pull it up from my ciphertext. Once I have filled out my tabular form of my ciphertext, I can then read across, I like learn key, and that would be my decryption method. Now this looks like it's incredibly tedious, and in fact it is, but you can code this such that a computer can do it, and it's no big deal. That is a transposition cipher.